It was time to get out of there. It seemed like someone had decided to carry out some impromptu justice on the street life below. I'd failed Rodrigo and I'd failed Fabiana. And that awful nightclub in the stadium, the docks. I'd been given enough chances to make this right, and again I'd blown it. Perhaps this was my punishment from the fates. Keep reliving the same mistakes for all eternity. I guess sobriety is relative. I had to get that image of Fabiana out of my head. Cops didn't seem too concerned with meeting their arrest quotas. Between me and Sao Paulo's finest, it'd be a miracle if the CS were still in business by the end of the day. It was a goddamn war zone. I had to assume Giovanna and Marcella were out there somewhere. Maybe I still had a chance to get somebody in that family through the day in one piece. The place was swarming with cops. They weren't there for me, as far as I could tell. And I'd blundered my way into enough clusterfucks for one day. If these fools could buy me some time, I might have a chance to get to Marcello and Giovanna before somebody put a bullet in their heads too. Giovanna and Marcello were still alive, but I didn't hold out much hope they'd stay that way for long. I'd already lost the ransom money, got the hostage killed, and I was only just getting started. This was turning into another fine example of private security work. I'd heard about these raids. Rena thugs in body armor sending a message to the poor that the cops are still in charge. When they hit the favelas, they came in hard and fast. And everyone was fair game, as I was about to find out.
55. I'd seen that number before. Were these the same bloodthirsty motherfuckers that showed up after the shootout at the party? The odds of me getting out of there alive, let alone Giovanna and Marcello, were narrowing with every passing second. If I filled my body with enough poison, maybe I'd forget I added another dead girl to my rap sheet. This wasn't such a good spot to enjoy the view. Você, cuzão! I was still alive, and still not all that happy about it. Why did the easy way out never come? Maybe I thought I didn't deserve it. You're 
atirando, Fala pô! Fala alguma coisa, seu filho Onde da tá puta! Onde o seu chefe, seu... I was guessing these guys didn't spend their spare time studying the Geneva Convention. Jesus Christ, these bastards weren't playing games. These were the same paramilitary cops I had seen executing fools after the failed kidnapping at the party. Nasty business. If these were the guys De Silva was worried about, maybe he had a point. Yes, this was definitely them. Jesus Christ, these bastards made the NYPD look like the Hare Krishnas. much sense of what I was seeing, but I had the feeling it wasn't that strange for anyone else. I had no option but to take the scenic route. These charmers weren't there to make a couple of arrests. They were bussing them out by the dozen. But who was I to cast judgment on proper police procedure and justifiable use of force?
The alley was a dead end in more ways than one. I needed to find a way out of there. It seemed like as good a place as any to lie low and get my bearings. Problem was, some other fine gentleman had the same idea. I'd gone from out of luck to unarmed and shit out of luck. Another reminder, not that I needed one, that any low point can always go lower, as my new friends were about to find out. It was Sao Paulo's finest and a busload of lucky winners they'd picked out earlier. I decided I might as well follow them. I was lost and they were going somewhere and it was the closest I was going to get to a plan. Where were they taking them? Did they have Marcello and Giovanna? Was this just an average favela raid or something more? When all you're left with is questions, I guess your only option is to go with your gut. And my gut was telling me that band of merry men would lead me to some answers. Answers I'd soon wish I'd never received. What was going on here? They looked like the same paramilitaries from the stadium and office attacks. Something felt wrong. In fact, everything felt wrong. Anytime those guys decided to join the party, you could be sure it wasn't gonna end in a piñata and a slice of cake. What the fuck was this? The vigilantes doing an exchange with the death squad cops? Were they buying people? What the hell for? None of this made too much sense. These two were serious operatives. One was a band of hired killers and the other supposed to keep the peace. Yet they were doing deals. Now I had to find Giovanna and Marcello. Without a better plan, I thought I'd better follow this bastard. Here was Giovanna and Marcelo. What the hell were they about to do to him? Marcelo! Jesus. Shit. Damn it. You bastard! Não se mete comigo, otário! gang way of killing people. These are no ordinary street gang. I guess they want people to think they are. With this, they can justify the killings of today and the people it took. Shh. Quem fez isso? Foi um americano. Foi? Foi? He's blaming you for the death of his friend. Foi um americano. Com 
morre, porra. Caralho. Contra ele. Mata ele. Pode deixar, eu mato. After a couple of hours of lying in shit, you learn to appreciate what you've got. And right now, all we had was each other. I was a wreck, and Giovanna, well, I knew what she'd seen no amount of drugs or therapy could erase. That kind of pain follows you around forever. The constant shadow of a wasted life. The poor girl had been through enough. We had to find a way out of there. Giovanna was calling Passos. I didn't know if this was a good place to hide or not. When half the local police force and a crew of paramilitary psychopaths want to send you upstairs, I reasoned the crowd was as good a place as any. At least when we got shot, maybe some kind soul would take a video and put it on the internet. Let's go. I just saw a cop looking at me. All right. Passos said there's a good place to hide in the back. I just try to stay calm. <laughs> I guess this is it. No, keep going. That's a girl. Here, come on. This way. as you call him. We just want to live somewhere, away from this shit. I understand. I wanted that too, a long time ago. What happened? It just didn't work out that way. Sorry to hear that. Maybe things will be different, for you two, I mean. Passos is a lucky guy. I don't think these guys are here for your baby shower. Get down. Stay out of sight. Okay. Disperse e procure por toda parte. Temos que achar a menina e o americano também. Tá bom. Okay, chef. Okay, just calm down, I said. Calm down? Are you out of your mind? Boa, boa, vamos ver isso, filha da puta. Vamos ver eles, vá. They're going to kill us. Giovanna, just wait there. I'll just be here soon. There isn't going to be a soon if we stay here. We have to move. Giovanna, get down. Oh, I'm in a
okay? Yeah. Here, quick. Climb under here. Uh, and open the gate from the uh, other side. Quick! Uh, uh, now stay right here while I check it out. Make sure you stay out of sight. I can't do this! Short of riding in on a parade float, we couldn't have made our arrival more obvious. We had to hide someplace out of the open. Breakfast of Champions. What's happening? Is it safe? An army of paramilitaries and only my face made the front page. More publicity I didn't need. to get this poor girl out of there. Oh my god, Max! Come on. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know, but we gotta get the hell out of here. Let's go. We're not going to make it, are we? We'll be fine. We just gotta lay low till Passos gets here. This wasn't looking good. What the hell were Giovanna and Marcelo thinking going in there by themselves? Guess their plan was no more idiotic than mine and I couldn't really fault them for losing faith in the Bronco's security detail. Just check this. We need to get out of the open. A barely recovering alcoholic and an unarmed pregnant woman. We were hardly a SEAL team. I put our life expectancy at five minutes. Hey, if we were lucky. If you can lift me up there, I'll see if I can lower it down. All right. Hmm. Right. You got it? Giovanna was a brave girl. She wasn't giving up. And I guess that meant neither could I. Well done. Stay close and keep quiet. God damn it!
Can you get through to that next room? Uh, yes, I think so. Well, that may be our best bet. Go on, I'll meet you there. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry. I'll find a way through. Just stay quiet and keep down. There had to be an easier way out of there than the way I came in. I was getting good at this. Be something. Dagger, Martha, Martha, Martha! Dagger! Come <laughs> on. 